All right, so I'm gonna show you how to flush a muskrat and get it uh, on the stretcher. So here we have a muskrat pelt that was skinned out and uh, hasn't been flushed yet. It's, uh, it's pretty clean. In general, you're gonna notice that you don't need to do a whole lot of flushing on muskrats. They're actually really easy to flush, uh, very, very minimal. So I have just a, you know, kind of a medium, large sized uh, board, stretcher board here that I'm gonna use to flush the rat. You can use a mink board, um, an otter, small otter board, and, and so on. Um, I use just a regular butter knife. Uh, you can use those flushing tools that they sell or whatever, but uh, this is what I started with and it works awfully simple. So basically, I split the rat into thirds and I'll just do the top third all the way around, the middle third, and then the bottom third. Uh, I don't know why, that's just kind of what I started doing um, and, and it seems to work. So. I just get the excess uh, meat so that I go down to the arms. Um, there's some excess meat here by the ear and the ears. Uh, don't get too much. You don't need to take off all that meat necessarily. Go down to about the arms, all the way around. And if you see any of that white fat, that uh, fatty stuff, that needs to go. So now I'm at the arms. I put one of the arms at the point of. Uh, the beam and then I can work a little further down. This rat really has very little on it in the way of uh, fat. Um, so this meat, see what I'm going to do is the thick stuff that's sticking out I'm going to get, but the rest of this uh, that can stay. That'll actually help the pelt um, keep some uh, thickness to the pelt so it stands up to being processed and so on. Looks like this rat um, took part in a lot of fighting. There's scar tissue and old holes. Um, anyway, just kind of work away at that. You don't have to flush too hard. Just get all the fat off. All that layer of uh, flesh just, that stays on. And uh, then finally, you work down to the bottom. Some rats are gonna have a little bit more to get off, but this is probably fairly standard, I guess, depending on the rats you're trapping. See this white stuff? That all needs to, to go, because uh, that will turn make the pelt go bad. And that's it. Um, there's usually a little bit here uh, by the tail, there's a little extra meat. Actually, a lot of times you can cut that off on the on the stretcher. So, um, one of the things that I mentioned when I showed the muskrat skinning is that I leave uh, an inch or so of the tail on when I skin the rats and I have a puncture a little slit in the tail. Uh, the reason for that is so that I can easily, quickly and easily hook that onto the stretcher and I'll show you that in just a second so we're all done with flushing that's all that the rat needs is in the way of flushing I'm gonna get the stretcher um, the thing with rats uh, so, so there's a lot of debate wooden versus wire stretchers which is better and uh, in pretty much every case wood stretchers are better for fur quality except for rats uh, rats it doesn't seem to matter uh, as far as fur quality, whether you use wooden or wire stretchers. Most people use wire because it's quick and easy, and uh, that's that's why I like to use wire stretchers. So, you basically just get the nose on and kind of work the pelt down. Uh, try to get it down evenly. You don't want to over stretch it. Um, you don't really want to under stretch it, though I, that's not very common. Um, so basically you just get it stretched out evenly there and then you have these metal hooks that slide up and down the pelt and you hook that hook into the tail. If you don't do like I do and keep the tail on, you hook that into uh, that's part of the, the rat's skin but be careful because it rips very easily. And then we go on the other side, we do the same thing. And we just kind of work that down until it tightens. Those hooks lock in place. And there, 
you have it very quick and easy uh, sometimes I'll take if I have a little bit of extra meat here um, that's hanging on I'll, I'll cut that off with my knife um, but that's basically it this rat uh, this rat's ready to hang up to dry and uh, get ready to be sold